Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Now if you like really easy and straightforward Canva tutorials, then make sure to subscribe to stay updated from any new videos. In this video I will show you how you can easily create your own monthly planner for your own use or to sell on your Etsy store or another uh, online marketplace. So I'm going to show you step by step how I have made this monthly planner. And it looks like this when you print it. Are you ready to create some monthly planners? Let's go. First, we are going to open a new design. So click here. And then I'm going to search for a US letter size because that's the size that is most common on Etsy and other um, online places. So I'm going to search for a letter size document and then I'm going to open this one. Okay, so now we have our empty design here. And first I'm going to start with setting of the margins. So I'm going to uh, click on file, then view settings. And then here you can see show rulers and guides. And then we are going to select this one. And then again, we are going to show the margins. So this is a little trick that helps with uh, designing uh, printables just to make sure that everything is on the right spot and that there is a place for um, hole, mar hole uh, punches on the sides. Next, I'm going to add a heading to my design. So we go to the text box here on the left and then I'm going to click on here, add a heading. And then I'm going to fill in monthly planner. And then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that it's easier to see. And then as you can see, uh, it's very easy to place it um, right in the, in the corner when you set on your margins and rulers. So I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm going to change the font to a font that fits more with my brand. I want to go for a minimalist planner. Maybe I will choose this one or this. I'm going for this and I'm going to make it all in capital letters. So this is good. And then here I'm going to set the uh, place to write a date. So I'm going to click again on add a heading because I find this a little bit easier and you can always change the size of the text. So I'm going to write month, then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than this. So this is 18 and maybe we are going to set this with 12, like this. And then I am going to add a line so that I can write down uh, which month that I am using. So here you go to elements and then you have here lines and shapes. You can click on see all and I always use this one. So you just click on it and then you can drag it a little bit to here. Now I am going to change the thickness of the line. You can do that by uh, selecting it and then here you can see line style and when you click on it, you can see that you can also change the uh, points if you want dotted ones, but here I am going with a full line and you can change the line weight. So I am going to change it to one and then make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to make sure that everything is right. And then I'm going to select all of this 
and make sure that it is in the center of the um, heading monthly planner like this okay and now it's time to uh, put in some um, things to make our calendar so we are going to click again on elements and then when you scroll down you can see here tables so we are going to click on see all as you can see there are many diff different uh, designs but I'm going to choose this one so just click on it and then you can see that it uh, comes here now I'm going to make seven columns um, for the days of the month and then five columns here for the dates so I'm going to add a row and then here I'm going to add columns to make sure that we have seven so we have one two three four five so again two more Okay, so now we have our columns and um, places to write the date, but I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Just select the box and then maybe like this one, because here I want to um, add a little space to write notes and to write uh, top priorities. So I'm going to leave it like this. And then it's very easy to um, make sure that everything is right so you can just here click on size rows equally and then here you can click on size columns equally okay so now these are all in the same uh, sizes and now it's time to uh, create a little bit of space here to write down priorities and other things so then I go to the text box again here, click on add a heading, I'm going to change this to 12. And then I'm going to drag it a little bit here. And then here I'm going to write down priorities. And then I'm also going to make a to-do list. I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm going to center it later on. So I'm just going to change the font as well, like this, okay, this looks good. And then I'm going to add in some lines so that uh, I can write down my priorities or to-dos. So go to the elements on your left. And then here we are going to use again this line. I'm going to change the thickness again here. <clears throat> and I'm going to change the line weight to one, like this. And then I'm going to set it a bit like this. Okay. And then I'm going to just copy and paste the lines. Now, you don't have to worry if they are equally lined because I'm going to show you a really cool tool that Canva offers to make sure that everything is on the right spacing. So, five lines. Okay. Now, if you just select all of them, then you can go to position and then here you have the tidy up function. Now, this is really cool because it saves a lot of time um, <clears throat> in Canva. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if you click on tidy up, you can see that Canva lines all of the elements on the same height so that it's um, good. So now I'm going to select this one and copy and paste it and then move it here. And then I can change the spacing of this. Okay, so these are on the same heights. So this is how it looks like for now. And maybe I'm going to put in some text box here because it's uh, really fun to check off a box if you have done a task. Now for the checkbox, I'm going to again to elements and then with lines and shapes, I'm going to select this one. 
Now, as you can see, it comes really big, but I'm going to drag it a little bit here, make it smaller. And then make sure that it has the same width and height. I'm going to put it here a little bit above the line and then I'm going to change the color by clicking on it and then here choose none and then I'm going to add a border around it and change the border height to one. So now we have a checkbox and now again I'm going to copy and paste this. First I'm going to move this and then I'm going to copy and paste everything and then oops use the tidy up function again to make sure that everything is in the right place so i'm going to select all of these and then click on position tidy up and then everything is in the right place now i'm going to select it again and then i'm going to copy this and move it also to the other side so like this, as you can see, Canva always offers um, little lines in pink, uh, so you can see that it's on the same height as the other things. So this is good. Now let's see. Okay, so this looks good. Now the only thing that I want to do next is just uh, put here Monday, Tuesday and the other days of the week so that it's easier to plan my month. Okay, so I'm going to add again some text, change this to 12, and then write down Monday. I'm just going with this. I'm going to make sure that this is the size of a color. Okay. But I'm thinking that here there is not enough spacing between them. So I'm going to make my columns a little bit smaller, like this. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to drag it like this. I'm just going to zoom out so that I can take a good look at it. I'm going to change this one a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that there is equal spacing between everything. Okay, like this. So this looks good. I'm going to set this one here. And then I'm going to copy and paste it to the other columns. Copy and paste everything. Okay, like this, and then I'm going to change oops, everything, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, and then I'm going to select them all and go to position again and the tidy up function just to make sure that they are equally equally spaced. So now I have written this here. I'm going to take a quick look. If you click here, you can see um, the planner in uh, how it looks like for you to print. But I'm really happy with the result like this. This is how I want to use my planner because I really like a minimalist planner with not much of uh, colors on it or, or graphics. Now, this one is also a great uh, planner to sell on Etsy or other online selling places. So uh, I'm going to download it as a PDF file and also I am going to um, put it on my Etsy shop later on. Okay, so I'm going to download it as a PDF. So click on share, click on download, and then I'm going for a PDF print because if I want to upload it to my Etsy store, I want 
to make sure that my customers will get the best quality for um, the download. So click on download and then you can see that Canva is printing your uh, design and making it a PDF. Now I'm going to resize this one as well uh, to other sizes like a four or maybe a half letter size as well. Um, now, if you want to know how you can easily resize your designs, then I have another video tutorial about this one that you can uh, watch. I will link it in the box below for you. So, okay, this was really how you can easily make your own printable planner. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did so, then please give this video a like. And if you want to see more Canva video tutorials in the future, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay updated with any new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.